just pick these uh, two little beauties up here, 30 quid for both of them. So I'm gonna get home and do a little bit of a uh, video on them. Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again. Today's video, I'm gonna be having a look at these two things that I just picked up today. I got them both for 30 pounds, um, not 30 pounds each, 30 pounds. It comes to about 15 quid each, obviously, um, which is pretty decent considering these usually go for about around 30 each anyway, maybe a little bit less. Um, the boxes are a little bit beaten up, but doesn't really worry me too, too much. Plus that's on the bottom anyway, so you're not really gonna see it. Um, anyway, without any further ado, let's have a quick look. We'll have a look in the uh, camera one first. I did have a brief look um, inside to see what kind of stuff's in there. He said that the manual is missing from this one, unfortunately, um, but it did actually work out to be okay because um, it came with, for some reason, manuals of the uh, Game Boy Pocket, which is absolutely perfect for me because I have a Game Boy Pocket box here, but no manuals, so that's absolutely sick. Uh, I'm really, really glad I could, could pick that up, so that kind of makes it all even out, so that's all right. Here's the actual unit itself. I do have a red one, so it's quite cool to now have a, uh, a yellow one as well. They look quite nice together. Um, I thought what we'd do is uh, have a quick look and see if there's any, any, printers, uh, any printers, any pictures or something on there. So for anyone familiar with the uh, Game Boy camera, it has this really weird kind of um, title screen where if you press the upper arrow on the uh, on the thing, on the, on the Game Boy, it speeds up. And then you can do the same to slow them down. A little bit weird. It was made by Game Freak, which is the uh, same makers of Pokemon and stuff. So if we go in here and view, click on album, we can have a look at what the pictures are on here. Well, that doesn't seem to be anything. No, oh, there's someone's face. <laughs> that's quite cool. So that's pretty much it then for the images on the Game Boy camera. Let's uh, zoom back out again and we'll have a look at the printer. So I do actually have a printer as well. This is my one here. It's in really, really, really nice condition, like literally immaculate, except it doesn't have a box, just like the, uh, the camera that I have as well. So I'm quite excited to pick this up. The box is actually in really nice condition. It's uh, a little bit bent in some of the, the corners and stuff like that, but I could probably iron that out. So um, I might actually consider doing that um, in a, maybe another video or something. But yeah, really not too bad condition. Um, they both have the, uh, the prices on them, which is quite cool. This one here was uh, 42 pounds and 50 pence, and the camera was 30, 34 pounds. So, uh, Quite expensive considering the, the Game Boys were about 100 pounds or, in fact, no, I think they're, I think they're a, bit, a bit less than that. They might've been about 80 or something. So um, yeah, quite cool to have these. Uh, so let's have a quick look what's inside. So we have the uh, the printer here. Let's hope it's not got any battery corrosion or something. No, it looks to be all good. Looks to be very nice actually. They got different model numbers. Um, there is actually, there's not any paper in, in the top of it, it's, it seems to be all run out pretty much. There's a little bit left, um, but that's fine because I actually have a uh, box of paper here. So that's the unit then, looks to be perfectly fine, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it works absolutely sound. Um, what else have we got in here? There does seem to be quite a lot of different bits of paperwork. Oh, hang on. There's a lot of paperwork in here. So, what have we got? We've got quite a lot of different stuff. We've got a uh, registration card here. We've got the actual manual for the printer, which is uh, in really, really nice condition it looks to be in. And I haven't actually seen one of these before, so uh, quite cool to own that. We also have um, some weird looking stuff here. Not entirely sure what this actually is. It says uh, N64, Super Nintendo and Game Boy on there. Service Force. No idea what that is. That's that's quite cool though, actually. And what is this? Oh, it's a Nintendo customer support little uh, leaflet here. That's awesome. I'm really, really ha happy to have this here. A Super Mario Land 2 instruction booklet. 
and Super Mario Land 1. It's like a multi-sided thing. And then we've also got a um, consumer information and precautions booklet. I mean, really, really happy with this buy. Like, to get something like this locally as well in Jersey is uh, quite rare. Um, it definitely seems to be a good deal for, for both me and, uh, and the seller. So really happy to pick them all up. Um, and I think he was quite happy as well to, uh, to shift it. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you would like to see any other kind of unboxings and stuff like this, let me know. Um, I will 100% be getting back to repairs as soon as possible. Um, someone in my last video commented saying that they're missing the repairs and stuff. Honestly, so am I. My thumb's definitely making progress. I can bend it a lot more, as you can see, um, but it's really, really hard to grip stuff. And especially because you need to be really, really precise with your uh, soldering iron and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.